start with the Napier boys squad. We'll have a look at their team list uh, before the lads make their way onto the field. They're not too far away. Plenty of people around the outskirts of the field here this afternoon also. So for uh, Napier boys, they'll be uh, coming out first up. Tasman Swane Oeti is their skipper. We've got uh, Juan Ross and Miguel. Prouting and Campbell will team up as locks. And on the side today, Hensi and Stevenson with Angus Prouting at the back. The uh, two flankers are really agile, athletic and fast. They get to the breakdown quickly. In the backs today, Russell, Thomas, Minnie, Augustine and Nash with McGrath and Cotter making up the starting 15. Their bench also stacked full of talent and they're coached by Dave Russell, Tai Tirito and Bevan Lynch as we see the thunga uh, that's uh, coming on. And of course, this traditional start to these uh, first 15 encounters. Tēnā koe, ki tēnā, i tēnā o ngā whakaaro o ai tēnei tū āhua tanga e kite nei tātou uh, ngā mahi ārehia uh, e, e tino wahanga o tēnei o ngā uh, tūmomo hākina kina rā tēnei tūmomo whakataitai. And here's the line-up for the home squad. It's Palmer, McCarthy and Raybarts with Kieran Arnold, Stern, Kōkohu and Mathis. Uh, keep an eye out too for Hiraka Waitai Hainga, who's very busy, out wide Girin and Marshall and Curtis Hana injects himself into the contest as well. Well, the welcome onto the park is as interesting as anything else. Let's uh, keep an eye on these young men as they make their way to finals football 2023. Here they come. <laughs> Ana ngā kai kāpene e rua, ngā kai uringi o enei waka e rua. Uh, haere ake nei ko te haka. So speak in tradition, Mere, and uh, of course the pride of the schools at stake here. The uh, kapa in there is kai tautoko for the team. It's a real celebration of the school community as well as sport. But uh, this is what these young players and their connections all toil for the... Uh, the trainings on the, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays in the mud often because, as we know, down here in Kitty Kitty, it all can get pretty wet through the uh, middle of the winter. We're blessed with an absolutely gorgeous day for the final here today. No excuses here as both teams make their way into centre pitch. Oh, I've got goosebumps um, as they were running out. It's really good. School sport as well. It's got the pride from both sides. They've got something to play for. And, oh, I feel as though that this is going to be a great match between the two. And of course, the haka, the traditional exchange of gifts, all preceding an encounter of this importance. And both teams have fought hard to get to the final. There were some tough games that they had to win across talented teams like New Plymouth, like Palmerston North, Tauranga Boys. And we're looking to all of the connections who are interested in this afternoon's final matchup here for Super 8 2023, all the teams that have taken part in the tournament thus far. It's certainly a special exchange to, uh, to, to tip off the, the, the game where we have, you know, Māori, non-Māori, our Pacifica brothers uh, also joining in arms and, and presenting themselves as a, as a ropu and, and celebrating our, our tuakiri tanga, our Māori identity. So mihi ana ki te whakaaro, a ka mutu ki ngā kaihaka. Let's hope that the haka is just as fierce and hearty out on the field as the tackles are going to be. Well, we know that the coaching staff take this work very seriously and it's a stepping stone, a shop front window for young players as we see acknowledgements of those past and taonga that are, are, are being played for here uh, and uh, that makes it even more important. Really pleased to have you with us here on Fakata Māori and all the connections that have brought the action to your living rooms throughout 2023, uh, including uh, Caltex and the numerous sponsors who we'll mention through the course of the afternoon. Great to have you with us on Fakata Māori. This is Finals Football Super 8 and uh, acknowledging all the schools in the central area of North Island uh, who participate in this prestigious competition as we uh, await the uh, the haka to get our game underway. It's quite a build-up, Mere, uh, as these two teams come and uh, lay down their taonga and uh, prepare themselves for battle. I mean, it's a loosely used term battle uh, because it's the skill level that will be on display that will ultimately get them across the line. Yes, there's got to be some brute force and toughness. That's what the game requires, but also it demands uh, that they've got good cohesion in the way that they work as a unit. We're about to get underway for the haka. We will 
silence ourselves while that is on, out of respect for this part of our culture and, of course, the uh, mana with which these young men perform representing their tupa. Te manuka, the challenge has been laid. Kia eke ki te taumata ko ngā kupu i whakahua hua mai a, e, e ahuriri. Um, te nui ngō te wā e hoa mā, our, our manuwhiri, uh, lay the haka down first and as haukainga, as mana whenua, of kiri kiri roa, uh, they'll, be, they'll be wrapping up this formal uh, segment of our, of our celebration. Waikato Tani Farau, he piko, he tani fa, he piko, he tani fa. At every bend of the Waikato River, there's a guardian or a chief. And I'd just like to respect and acknowledge the forebearers and the ancestral heritage that both teams have and who they're representing uh, this afternoon. Haida, uh, and we're right in the heart of uh, Waikato Tainui here. Good to be with you at Kiri Kiri Roa, winning the right to host the final uh, with their... Uh, efforts across 2023. Really looking forward to uh, this afternoon's game. Mede Baker, we've seen some, Aaron Patterson as our ref today. And uh, Mede, as far as uh, some of the young players you're looking forward to seeing run, we've, we've had a couple of games to call them on for Katamori through 2023. There's some good talent out there and uh, obviously some leaders who uh, both teams will rely on in this one. Yeah, look, it's finals footy, so they'll, they'll be like trying to put their best foot forward. And both teams have a, a flood, I would say, of talent. And, you know, there's um, what I like about the Napier boys is that they're, they're up front. They're up front, they're confrontational, they'll, they will take little by little, inch by inch to get down the paddock. They don't care how long it takes them to get down there, but they work really hard there with their forward pack as well. So the other thing I like about Hamilton boys is they'll, they'll try and go wide. So, there you go. Mede Baker has a ton of experience in both codes, both the uh, 15 and 13 codes. Uh, she has played sevens for New Zealand rugby. She's also been in the uh, New Zealand rugby league team and has, has had extensive experience overseas uh, coaching and uh, has just recently returned from the United States where she was coaching a squad there also in their tournament. And rugby is really on the on the grow across in the States. We're about to get underway and it will be the home team here to do just that. The ball is in the hand of Wyndham Patawawa. His distribution 
and, uh, and football now will be tested here this afternoon. So important that these two teams get away to a solid start. And as you can see, the home crowd have got right in immediately behind the boys from Kitty Kitty Law. Up against the young lads in Sky Blue from Mahudidi. And not surprisingly, they decide that it's a downtowner to get us underway first up. But some uh, ambitious and enterprising play down the left edge as Marshall gets hold of the ball. A good solid run for Marshall. And he gets just outside the 22 and looks for some port. Mac Russ, who is so instrumental in all that Hamilton do, is the man at the base of the scrum. That's him working hard like a jackrabbit as they get it across. This is a good opening exchange and opportunity. Whitey Hainer now onto Oli Mathis. He comes with a, a stack of good credentials here in the first penalty of the afternoon is uh, awarded to Hamilton Boys High. Yeah, you know, you've got to make sure that you, you put the player down in a, in a way that's safety, but like I said right from the start, that Hamilton Bulls will go from one, they'll try and stretch Napier, and they did that straight away. Good good kick return, and then straight away, we're going back on our left-hand side from the winger, and in the middle, here we go again, and we've got a penalty. Harai, te mea, kei te tū meke au, kei te ohorere rane ki, ki ngā tini pūkinga te kapa o kiri kiri roa. I'm, I'm not surprised by the confidence that the team has to be able to spread the ball from right to left. Keep an eye out on our left-hand winger, Dupre Marshall. He's he's going to be one to, to look out for today. Of course, Hamilton won the uh, pre-season game at Sanex in Japan with a decent victory here. But as many mentioned, Napier did win the round robin game by 15 to 12, and that was actually their first win over Hamilton since 2011. Um, the round robin actually was the first time that the Dell White Taonga was contested for. Dell taught at Napier Boys High School from 83 to 2021. And during that time, he had a huge involvement in Super 8 Rugby from its inception back in 97. He coached and managed um, both first and second 15s uh, throughout those years. And so the uh, game, the Dell White Taonga, uh, will become a, a feature of when these two teams meet. Well, they've opted for a uh, penalty, and that's not surprising. It was encouraging to see that Hamilton were willing to give the ball some air and thought laterally uh, a temptation, as we saw in our last game in heavy conditions, for a bit of a kicking duel, but that wasn't forthcoming. And now an opportunity for young Wyndham Patuawa, who, as we know, is a, uh, a huge contributor here to the culture and to the on-field decision-making here for the home team. An important uh, opportunity to get uh, first points on the board. Uh, you're watching the Super 8 final from Kiri Kiri Reo live on Fakata Māori. And here's Patuawa with his opportunity to get three. Sprouts nice, you can tell by the crowd. Yeah, Dale, that's a really good decision. Get some points on the board early on. Really try and put some pressure on Napier boys. You know, all of these three points, uh, they, ma they matter down the end. Lots of pressure here as well. E piki ngā wairua te, te rongo i te tangi o te pere, te pere kou me ki. We've got our cowbells out here, the reminder that we're in the proud territory of Waikato. And to acknowledge the, the whakaro and, and, the, and the, the students and peers that are out here to make some noise to get behind their boys. Hiriri now putting some pressure on, but it is kiri kiri do with the football down that right edge. We've got time. It's uh, so different to the last game we called, which is in Palmerston North on a real heavy and uh, st uh, stodgy sort of a track. But this time a tester down the left side for Napier, and it's uh, worked back infield here. Picking it up the middle. On defence is Putoko. Just setting it. Russell there at the back calling for the ball. It's delivered up for him. The big units start to uh, make their impact. And really, they just want some hand on ball. All of these players uh, uh, just wanted to get into it. You get the feel for it as the big eight. Angus Prouting is able to pop the pass, and they keep it alive on the far side of the field. The big defenders here. Solid D coming in from Kitty Kitty Door. Oh, yeah, great defence there. It was a double tackle in there. They held him up, and um, it was great there, the centre and the... the, the the 12, they're just getting in there nice and tight and holding them up, and it's going to be a scrum for Hamilton boys. Ai, aha koe i whakawhiti atu te pōro ki a kiri kiri roa. Me mihi ka tika ki a ahuriri, ki a Napier, even though they unfortunately handed the, the pullover, I was uh, quite pleased with the response they had. Um, as, as Dale said, got, most players got their hands on their ball. There's a lot of physicality out there, isn't there? Well, and they all want to, uh, to get a feel. The build-up for it, uh, you're anxious, you can't sleep the night before, you're waking early. 
uh, just trying to keep your emotions in check. And so a lot of that is burned out on the training track before hitting the final. But suffice to say, they're, they're fizzing it emotionally. They just want to get their hands on the football. Here's Ollie Mathis. Ollie Mathis manages to get an offload on the far side. And that's good meter gains here for the home team. They just feel hell-bent and intent. And McCarthy takes the uh, football forward to the 22. That opens them up down the right side. And they're looking to take advantage here. And beautiful interplay driving towards the line. They're not far away. This is Ollie Mathis. He's been superb so far in the game. It sets them up nicely here. Right on the try line as they try and grind their way towards the chalk. This is difficult times. It's a tough old ask defensively here for Napier. Can they hold out? Driving at the line. This time it's Raholuhi Palmer who gets them close. Still work to be done. Calling it, controlling it. Trying to burrow their way forward. Napier uh, really being asked some questions here. Defense has been solid so far, but in the end, they just couldn't handle. Just couldn't handle in the end. And he's been very good already. Just pick up the number. I wouldn't be at all surprised if it's Mathis, Ollie Mathis, outstanding effort. He's tall, rangy, and tough and this time. Having a grind for the line. Great finish for Hamilton boys and a superb period of play. Well controlled and they draw first blood in the try scoring stakes. Oh, that starts for me right back at the scrum where Ollie Mathis picked it up from the base of it and opened it right up there for the winger. And all they did was just control the ball, hold on to it and just build and build and build those bases. And then Napier had to crack it sometime. Ko mohi o ina e ne ahuriri ka anga pēhea tēne i kapa o kiri kiri roa. Ka are aha ki a rātou ki a, ki a whakamahi a te taha kāpō, te taha poto me ki. Um, as, as you said, Mere, um, the, the open side flanker shouldn't have the opportunity to take on that short side and he had a lot of room. Um, it's, a, it's a bit of a symbol for the uh, Napier boys to know that Hamilton are not only keen to go on the open side, but will take on the short side as well. Well, it's uh, all about confidence there, and it was built down the right edge. Started off with the try scorer as well. This one is waved away, but still a solid start here. Seven minutes, and it's Hamilton Boys High School. Great to have you with us. Final Super 8 Rugby 2023. Yeah, for me, it's just like at the moment, Napier are just hitting their advantage line with speed and accuracy. And I, Sorry, Hamilton. I just want to see when Napier gets the ball, they've got to do the same thing. So at the moment, they're a little bit de deeper. They need to be a bit flat and hit it hard. Well, you can sometimes uh, uh, succumb to an early raid, but uh, that doesn't set the stage for how this game is going to pan out. What is important now is how they respond after conceding points as that kick is a fine kick down the right edge. Oh, what a kick. You know, exit kicks are really prevalent in, in this sport, and he's just got, it, got them right over the halfway. And they'll be looking to put pressure pressure on a defensive line out of Hamilton boys and Napier here they need to do something in the midfield I think Yes, you, you hit it on the head Dale with um, it's, it's how Napier boys respond it's only sort of seven minutes, eight minutes gone of, of the game and, and yes they've, been, they've conceded some early early points but just the resilience uh, the mentality the, the, just the, the Napier boys need to sort of stay in the early, early fight. Prouting was good to deliver some clean ball as well and it's about getting in and making the uh, uh, the plays forward is some solid D coming in as well. Uh, good clean outs here as they decide to turn it down the left edge this time around. And it's taken in there by Luke Thomas in 10, setting the stage at seven metres inside enemy territory. Down the left edge they come this time, a But they've lost the football. And it's the big number four who comes away with it, McEwen. Popped past by Russ. They're working the right edge confidently at the moment too. They found good fortune when they got away to that first break. And so they're looking to replicate that, but now they've spread deep and wide. They're playing with a confidence level here. And now the crossfield kick. He's trying to catch them, not, not uh, aware of the tactic, but the ball bounced beautifully for Duplay Marshall. Couldn't quite get away with it, but ambitious play, and that's what you want to see here. Chanting their hand, confident in their skill sets. Oh, 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 that's brilliant. They could see Marshall just ranging nice and wide. There is a penalty all the way back here, but they looked at to see that to stretch Napier. And this is how they're going to beat Napier boys if they continue doing this, stretching that defense. But what I do like about the Hamilton boys is at the ruck here, they're going zero ruck. So they're not actually putting anyone in the ruck. That means they've got loads of defenders 
on their feet. I've seen Luke Thomas our, our first receive our first five for the Napier boys and GJ Meany being caught with the pill. Um, I mean, ideally, you've got your, your forward charging up the ball, but our, our, our first five and second five are tending to crash the ball a bit more, and that's what uh, that's what the fuck up of the turnover was initially. Great crowd on here uh, at hand. A lot of uh, parents and whanau have travelled across from Hinatanga uh, to Matawa Maui to be here for support uh, for Ahuriri. But obviously, the home team uh, stacked full, and uh, it's a proud kura. This one's produced many fine athletes over the years. And you get the feeling that uh, we are witnessing the early careers of some who may go on to be very notable contributors to our national rugby scene. Up through the middle they come this time around, and there once again is Ollie Mathis. He's been a uh, sort of Mr. Everywhere man as it comes to Russ. Finds Patuawa, Putoko, looking to pop the ball through to Curtis Hunter, who is ranging up beside him. Uh, who did he really scrambling here? They need a turnover. They need to really harass these runners because confidence levels are building. Here's a penalty and a good opportunity for the Sky Blues. Uh, mihi ana, mihi ana ki te manawa nui, te manawa roa. Uh, the, the, the commitment that, that uh, the Napier boys had to the defence, that they really had to show up. The momentum needs to shift and they've done really well to uh, put some attack down the right end of the field. 11 minutes gone, you're watching Fikata Māori. Live action from Super 8 Rugby. Here, the final Napier boys, Hamilton Boys High School, and a touch finder, but it does get some meters and field position all important. Possession stats would be well in favor of Hamilton at the moment, Mitty. So just pushing their way forward uh, with purpose, even if it is conservative approaches, uh, it's uh, seemingly the right way to go here for the Sky Blues as we see the throw in here from uh, Ross Warren. And uh, that's one uh, that they'll rue because Hamilton come away with it with skillful line-out work. Now the scramble here. So Ahuriri, McCarthy, pushing forward, leading by example. That's Inga Kokohu, who is uh, on the ground with the ball and then delivers. Now they've been problematic for the Blues down the right edge. That pass drifted, I thought, fractionally forward, but the referee was well positioned. Not so in our commentary position as they again look down the right edge, but there is a knock-on there, and uh, Napier will get the scrum feed in good field position here to mount a challenge back at the team that leads them 8-0. Yeah, Hamilton again, they're saying to let, let's, let's try and uh, make sure that that ball is up in the air and we're, we're stretching Napier boys, but man, that's good defence for Napier boys. What they need to do right now is have a good set, from the scrum here, make it a good scrum, good, good set piece, and I, I would suggest that they'll be hitting in the middle here, Lewin. Yeah, it's, it's hope that they have an opportunity just to build some phases and put a bit of pressure on this on this full pack, move them around, and, and, and uh, yeah, hope they keep the ball under under their wing and, and uh, put some decent uh, attack on. The double around here as Russell gets hold of the ball, finds Thomas, he's okay to just set the stage for his teammates. Russell again looking, he rely on his big forwards and look at that defence as well as Hamilton just get down low and make it tough. Russell's full of, well, his game, let's put it that way, plenty confident as well. I call him like a, a jackrabbit. He's, he's just working everywhere and will need to be if Napier to come away with the trophy in 2023. That ball's popped up and it's again with Russell. Great attack as well. And good defence, Liam Sturm, and they've turned it over, but still in possession. Well, dislodged the ball, but still in possession. Ahuriri. They just need to settle things down and get a little bit more ball control up through the ruck. Yeah, they've just got to make sure they've got to do a little bit more with the ball because there's so many defenders on their feet with Hamilton. They've got to be a bit more inventive. They've got to actually pop it off the ground, get in behind, and really make the Hamilton boys commit to the ruck area. Take your time. They can uh, have a few phases and... They don't need to do it all at once. That's the sort of drive that is going to be so important for them as they try to create some momentum down the left edge here. Uh, Napier. Now towards the 40. They don't need to panic. There's plenty of good talent here as they work it through the hands this time around. And a little bit of a hole opens up. Just a slight hole too, which the door closes on it very quickly. Great, Great defence there by Hamilton, boys. Very much so. Once again, it's Liam Sturm. He's uh, just got a sixth sense to know when to get into the uh, defensive work. 
fullback Cotter comes into the mix. But in the end, the referee will call a penalty and it will be Hamilton. Bit of a reward for them for their stoic defence and a sound attitude both on attack and on D. Yeah, the defence is fantastic here. They're not, like I said, they're calling it a zero rucks and they're not committing to the ruck here. For me, Napier either have to pop it off the ground, take take a pick and go from the base, or go a little bit wider. There is space a little bit wider on the centre here. So they've, they've got to change the way they play just a little bit, just adjust to the defence because Hamilton boys are coming up so quickly. In Matarua tonga mea katoa, everything has sort of two, two sides and, and what's very um, rewarding to see is not only the attack, the attacking ability of Hamilton, but their defence. Like, it's going to be difficult for, for, for Napier to get through them. They might have to go around them. Hoi anō he whai whakaro tanga mā ngā kaiako, ke whai wā rātou ki te pā ata whakarite te 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 mahere, hei anga whakamua mā tātou. No, if you've got to get the job done, it's a matter of being able to change your approach on field and uh, they've got some solid hard working defenders to Hamilton and what uh, Lewin Moiho was just touching on is he thinks that uh, uh, Napier might need to try their hand around the outside we'll see uh, as that throw is uh, allowed by the referee solid carry there Dale that was pleasing to see one of the uh, homua guiding his, his tribe forward so this time putting on a bit of pressure at uh, the back and it's eluded Curtis Hanna who manages to get hold of the football. Now that's Hanna who's going backwards to come across field and then straighten. But the main thing is ball control here. It's not very windy down here, it's perfect conditions, but they might use the, the sun to an advantage to, to play tricks with uh, some of the receivers out the back. This is Palmer who has the ball here and the Sky Blues of Napier working hard. They want to maintain field position here, out onto the boot of Patuawa, but it finds its way across. That's a floating ball and the half volley pickup is handy looking for the chip and the regather the bounce now important as the fullback comes in and claims it Hannah now it's time for Ahuriri to work hard here and try and get the turnover but Hamilton look well drilled and confident once again Patuawa has the ball some good work coming in here from the visitors o almost too confident I think they'll you know a clearing kick would have been the, the, the call to get out of the trouble but yeah Ahuriri's got a chance here so so running a little bit run, run out at the moment well, well they just need to uh, put the grind on Lay it back, it's a clean ball for the backs to work with. Here they come, that's the 22, solid D from Alex Arnold in five. Down the short side, here they come. They haven't had too many opportunities in this part of the field so far, but it could be thinking of an opportunity down the right side. The big units working their way through the middle. Here come Napier Boys High School. Good, solid play at the moment. Good phases, nice control as they push their way forward towards the uh, try line. There's still 10, 15 out as they decide to give the ball some air. That's good hands out to the winger on the far side and goes back in. Great finish and McGrath is there. Brilliant play, solid lead up and uh, full on rewards. Oh, I called it, I called it. If they held it on, they just go inch by inch and this is what they did here. Look at that. He's at the base, good scrum pass here. CJ Meany puts it out here to Cotter and here it comes back on the left foot and the uh, space just opens up. But that comes from the forward pack doing all the mahi. Koina, do the mahi get the treats? Hey Aikia, William Wairua and that was the case for the Ahuriri boys out here. I was really impressed with the hands that the Furu Pek, our fullback Jacob Kop Kota, uh, used. It was, the ball was almost at his ankles, but the little tip onto his winger, he finished it off well by cutting back inside. And I, I suppose the Manuhiri will be really pleased that they're on the board here in this big dance, the Super 8 final here in Kiri Kiri Dua. Yeah, that was good lead up work down that right edge. We thought for a moment, didn't we, Mere, that there might be a, a, a shot down the skinny side. But instead, they were a bit more ambitious. They gave the ball some width and uh, eventually cutting back on the inside too was uh, Ineri McGrath uh, to score the try. Now for the conversion. This time, and it is waved away. 8-5 scoreline, intriguing battle that we're witnessing here in Hamilton in this year's final. 19 minutes gone and just three points in it. Yeah, that's great to come back there. But, you know, Napier boys had to change the way they, they played. 
and they did that. They made sure that they committed those, those defenders at the ruck area, which they weren't doing before. So again, Hamilton now has to regroup and see what they've got here. I'd like to see them spin it a bit wider. Tantawawa with the restart. Now this has set the stage for what will be an intriguing battle. We never expected it to be a lopsided game here today because these two teams came in with such good form out of their Super 8 season and other games that they've been involved in. But Hamilton getting their measure and working hard to get the turnover. Let's see which way that ball comes up. The referee's okay to uh, let it go. He's got his eye on, and this one is sent downtown, picked up there by Oli Guerin. Sends it on the inside for Hana. And I love the willingness that Hamilton have to let the ball get some air. Good defensive work as well. The tackle there across the top on Pujoko was top draw. Oh, just coming in from the side there. Got to go through the ruck here, go through the gate. But wow, that was great attack there. It's, it's so good to see them. That they're, they're trying their arm at any place of the game. And now they've got a penalty. Hey, te rongo i te mauri e karema. I'm feeling the energy down here at the Hamilton boys. It's certainly uh, something special with the Ahuriri uh, Fano here on this side and the, and the hometown on the other side, the cowbells ringing. It's a, it's a good vibe. We're looking forward to a great uh, remaining 60 minutes of, of the match. So Tom McCarthy is the man responsible here, the big one. Uh, uh, Tasman Swane Oeti, he's the skipper with his back to us. And the number one for Napier. Uh, he has been involved, but will get increasingly involved as the game progresses. 35 minute halves here in Super 8. Here's the throw in from McCarthy. They've been good in the line outs. Are they good again? They are as it comes back to Kukohu. Yeah. Accidental offside. That's there, right. I think. Yeah, basically ran straight into his his, his um, number that was in front of him, and it didn't give the defence an opportunity to be able to make the tackle. So. Yep, that's a shame. That is a very shame, especially when they're this far in the 22. So it's uh, Swane Oweti and Richie Miguel in the bookends, the popo here for Napier Boys High School up against Rahuri Palmer and Jake Robards from the home team. It's an intriguing battle here as we see the powerhouse uh, scrums of the Central North Island Super 15. And it comes back to Thomas. He sends it downtown, but it does its fine touch. Whipped back on the inside from Marshall. Now for Hunter, keeps it alive on the far side, where it's picked up by Oli Guerin. Guerin offloading through the hands of Waitai Hainga. And now it's Putoko who has the ball. He's been left and right. So they're certainly confident. These guys in the back line here for Hamilton boys. Raybards delivers up, nice clean ball. Looking to do something with it through Kor Kohu. A turnover though. Karoha. I hua mai ko te aputa. I wawahi te rārangi wa wao. Just couldn't grasp the pill. The, the gap opened up. It was a nice flat line that our number eight ran. Unfortunate, but I'm so proud and, and, and pleased with the fluidity that the back line of the Hamilton boys show. Sharing the ball with one another. It's like they're almost in the sevens format of, of rugby, but they're doing that with 15. Yeah, well, they're puffing their chests out a little bit, aren't they, the back line here, and sh uh, sort of strutting their stuff. There's a bit of swagger in the way that they're playing, and that's, that comes with confidence. And why shouldn't they be? They've got where they have in 2023 with a mixture of solid focus, but also some flamboyance. But as, as the saying goes, you've got to earn the rights to go wide. And uh, so far in the match, they feel confident enough to do so. But it's Ahuriri who have the ball this time around. That's the halfway line that they have just run across as the fullback chimes in down the left edge. He's a try scorer, McGrath. He's a tall, lanky, takes big strides, doesn't he, the, uh, the young winger? And they are looking for some control. Russell with the football, needing some solid defence here from the home team. Very willing, we'll give them that. Across the top goes Mac Russie's in the mix. Big five is Arnold, assisted by McCarthy. It's grinding rugby at the moment, and that's the way it should be too, with just over 10 to play in the first half. It's always going to be a tough contest. This time around, it's the home squad who get the penalty. Oh, there you go. Who, who's at the bottom of the stern? He got his hands on the ball and he just turned it over as well. But again, Hamilton boys with the defensive, uh, defensive, 
mastery at the moment, as you can see, is they're getting back, they're making their tackles, they're getting, they're not committing to ruck areas. So again, Napier boys have to make sure whatever they do, they're getting behind the, the, the game line so they can put them under pressure, make them commit to that ruck area. Takoha to Takoha Mai. That was another example of the cover that's shared on the Marae. Two atu two Mai. Those exchanges, Napier had the ball. And then there was a turnover and, and, and Hamilton had the ball and vice versa. So a big mihi to our forwards that, were, that are staying on their feet and getting their hands on the ball. E tohu pai tēnā mongātū āhua tanga kei mua i te aro aro. Well, it might not be Māori rugby, but they're playing like Māori rugby at times, these guys, with, a, as you say, a fluidity that's so enjoyable and impressive. Look at this solid run. But everyone's having a go here. The forwards willing to steamroll. This is a fine run from Raybards, who now gets it set up. Stepping back up on the inside, Liam Sturm's having an outstanding contribution. Back it comes for Russ, again setting the stage, and Tom McCarthy finds himself in space and away from the defenders. McCarthy, he's just a few metres out from the try line. Here's a great opportunity. Turnover, though, and a knock-on. So it's still alive. The referee will allow this one to go. And it's Hamilton boys who've got the numbers down the right edge. Here they come with a run here from Waitai Hainga. Keeping it alive, Kutoko over the top. It's Curtis Hunter for the corner. And Hunter is in for Kenny Kenny Law. Oh, McCarthy, put your hand up. He started that way back there, got them into the 22. But Putoko again, that offload, just a lovely little touch there. And then just Hana just backed it up. Here he is there, Putoko again, looks it up. Boom! Off the right hand side, Hana with speed, skill, and strength over the line. Koya, Tina Kwe, Mirito, Tuku Fakaro, Tom McCarthy, Nana, Te Nekehanga, Itimata. I'm, I'm so amazed with some of our hookers nowadays. You know, you've got the likes of Cody Taylor, you've got Sam Keane, those ones that are, are, are ball-running hookers. And he broke the, the, the line like a, like a fullback would, and, and they showed good patience to be able to shed, uh, spread the ball from right, right to left and a, and a nice little flick pass to finish it off. And as you said, our fullback, our whirupeke, mote kapo kirikiriroa, Curtis Hanna, good strength, keeping the ball close to his chest, carrying a few over the line, and, and what a great response. Uh, that try was. Yeah, it was uh, It was good play, as you say, set up by Tom McCarthy. There was an opportunity because it was turned over, but Ahuriti couldn't control the football. The referee allowed it to play on. Putuko was confident with the flick pass out the back. That was cleverly done. I mean, we see it a lot in, in uh, uh, both codes nowadays, but he had mastered it. There's the kick. It is unsuccessful. So we have a scoreline of 12-5. E, e tai o hi tonu ana. E, rang, e rangatahi tonu ana e nei kaitākaro. They're still uh, 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 quite young, but they, they, they don't get intimidated by the... Um, whether or not it's a grand final or a round-robin game, they're still interested in doing flick passes. I mean, a lot of coaches would be like, hold on to the pill, nothing spectacular, nothing out, out of the normal. But these, these young kids are, are playing like they would day in, day out. Oh, well, this is uh, backyard footy. And, yeah. you know, there's the old saying, in many, if it's on, it's gone. Yeah. So that's the sort of... Uh, mind you, at times, coaches will demand oh. a more conservative approach and, and, you know, just build here, be content to bide your time. And to, and to build your way in. But look, okay. uh, they, they throw the ball around and that's what the uh, crowds like to see and that's what they like to play. Look, they, they, they're in the green zone right there, so anything goes. That's just, as a coach myself, that's, that's what, I, what I always pertain to. So in the green zone, anything goes. Have a crack at it. 35 scoreline here. Watching the first half. Just on seven to play here. It's been an entertaining first half too with three tries scored so far. None better than that one scored by the flying fullback. From Hamilton Boys High School, Curtis Hunter. Can who did he answer in the way their coaches, Russell Tedito and Lynch, would want from them? There's a lovely combination between the two brothers there, George and Angus Prouting. But again, ball stolen. Eye off the ball there momentarily for the Sky Blues. Hamilton Boys High uh, profit. And now they've got numbers backing up here. They're a little cautious too because there have been some runs here from Dupre Marshall. Here he is once again. This time he left foots it back on the inside. And it's a lovely take at the back from Cotter. Going backwards too. 
Yeah, yeah, called the mark there by Cotter. Well done, though, because it went over his head and had to come back, and there's a bit of a sun out there. So great work in there for calling the mark. Again, Hamilton boys' defence, that first line of speed is so quick. But I need to say to Napier boys, hold on to the ball, get in behind. You need to do a little bit more around that ruck area. Maybe just a little bit of a pop, maybe a, a, a little bit of a back pass in the tackle. Something needs to switch a little bit. Well, we know that the Chiefs are a hugely popular team here in this proud community of Hamilton, Kirikiriro, Tingwa Māori. And uh, we know that some of these uh, players will get a chance to play Colts or whatever going forward. Who will? Well, time will tell. But what we do know is this is a wonderful stage for them to show their abilities and commitment to the code. And big ups to Fakata Māori for bringing the action of Super 8 live across uh, Aotearoa and beyond too through Māori Plus. Footage of these games will be shown internationally, no doubt, as we wait and build here. Once again, it is Arnold who sets it up and then quickly to support his Sturm. This time, that ball's just gone down. McCarthy takes his eye off it. It's covered up here by Arnold. Referee allows play to go on down the right edge. Here's the halfway line. Now, they've been difficult to contain down that right edge. And another pop pass. This one's to Guerin. He flies to the corner. And Ollie Guerin, well, two sensational tries here from the home squad in double quick time, pushing out the scoreline. Oh, mate, this, put your hand up there. He's a raging seven. And look at that bomb out the back there for Guerin. And he just has to get into the corner there. But wow, what a great setup! The forwards are doing their work. Mathis and Stern are being outstanding around the park and are everywhere, which means the bats can do their business. Faka mutu atu kiri kiri roa, ka tahi te tohu o te whakahihi o te poho kereru ko tēnā. Jeez, kupu hau for you, Dad. Friki. Fricky, fricky, little flicky out there, the right end edge. Foo, is that right? Does. Fricky right there, or fruky? It is. Some people say fruky or fluke, but I don't think that flicky was a fluke. That's that for sure. That flicky wasn't no fluky there, uh, uh, Moihan. Carl, that flicky was. Uh, well, I think it was built. Actually, was built as well. The confidence from seeing it work last time around. Hey. Yeah, make yeah, this again. Yeah, make this again. You know, he just get on the outside and just basically saw his man at the winger girl went oh, out there and it just paced all day on the right hand side. Look at another look at it. Kei te tī taha taha kemu. It's not even though the, the points might not reflect the sort of one sidedness. Napier are right in this game. It's unfortunate they've just scored before half time, but I think uh, this half time will come at a timely opportunity just to reconsider their game plan because. They are matching them physically. They are putting some pressure on um, in attacking situations. But with, with displays and tries like that, they're going to be hard to stop. 19 to 5, the scoreline as we turn it around. Let's get another look. This is just built on confidence. Look at that, a blind throw. Garen, look good, didn't he? That's a, a lovely one for his show reel. Some genuine pace down the right edge. That's what you want to see. But the uh, number seven, Ollie Mathis. You know, this is playing with tremendous confidence, built out of experience. He might be young, but he's played plenty of football right across the world, as it turns out as well. We've got just a couple of minutes here to the half-time break. How did he need the football? And they can ill afford to concede any more points in this first half. It's a tough enough ask to come back, being 14 down in the second half. They, don't, uh, they can't afford to let any more happen as we see Russell this time just getting in and now a chance to build through the middle this is where the big units need to play their hand as Miguel and Swane uh there Russell comes down to the left working through Thomas holding up the pass then injecting through the line that's a decent little run here from Josh Augustine and a penalty as well for the visitors yeah that's better attack there by Napa boys like I said earlier, if they're not going to take them in the front here and commit those ruck areas, go a little bit wider, and that's what they've done. There is some holes out there. Augustine and also many have tremendous pace. So there is some space out there if they get the ball nice and early and hit those, those spaces on the outside. This will be really interesting by Napier. A good set piece, maybe a ball, maybe, maybe hitting in the middle. See how they go. Plenty of people enjoying the action here. And George Hansey is uh, well looking to get himself involved. Lots of supporters. 
Enjoy not just the rugby, but being part of the school community here in Hamilton. Thanks to Celtics. There's their signage. Here's the climb. Ball's gone down. Here's the run. Gee, Hamilton have really pounced on any mistakes that Ahuriri have made. Just little errors as well, but they've been made to pay for them too, particularly down that right edge. Mathis, Hunter, Guerin. Some lovely play. And now threatening down the left edge as well as they look to set Marshall free again. Here is Dupre Marshall. Sends it back on the inside for Hunter. And quickly, Russ. Alive. Good pass as well from Patuawa. Waitai Hainga keeps it alive. Waitai Hainga has it again. Away from one another flick pass. That's a flick of thumb. And Kokohu is in to score. Here he goes there, good back up here on the inside. He puts up the left foot and then there's a flick pass again. It's a flick fest again. And all he has to do is get over the line. It's like we're watching Netflix when we're out here with all the all these styles of passes. It's, it's quite amazing. E toru ngā mea, ngā mea nunui, these tokotoru tapu. We've seen three flick passes that have been pulled off that Benji Marshall would even be happy with. Oh, that was just um, superb. What good play. And that's how quickly this uh, this talented outfit uh, from Hamilton, just how quickly they can uh, counter-attack. Doesn't need much of a, an error, much of a sniff. Scoop the ball in away. And they've been working down Dupre Marshall's side a lot here, although most of the tries have come down the right edge. Hunter works in well, and then popping up Inga Kokohu, and um, he's been uh, in great touch as well. So life just a little bit harder before we go to the half-time break, and this one looks as though it's uh, more than likely to add another two as well. Yeah, look, they're spreading it wide so that, uh, you know, Gerwin can uh, score on the right-hand side. But that's what I said right from the start, that this oh. Hamilton Boys team is a team that loves to spread it. And that's what's been happening. They've been deeing up really hard, zero rucking it, turning the ball over, and then moving it right from the contact really quickly. I'd like to mihi to the stream shop and for Kata Māori for providing these these footages. Hopefully we get a bit of a package over half time to see some of these amazing tries that, have, that we've witnessed this afternoon. Well, no, e rua ngā wahanga o tēnei kimi, it's two halves, it's 25 to 5, and I'll throw it over to Dale to wrap us up. Thanks very much. Good to have you with us here on Whakata Māori. Thanks to all our connections who have helped to bring the action to you right across Māori Plus, but also across our main channels. Hope that your Saturday Avo is going well. Let's take a break. And it is the home team, Hamilton, with a big lead here over Napier. But there's still plenty of rugby to come in Super 8s. Live, the final of Fakata Māori. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this downtown apartment is the perfect first property. Okay. Our vendors have a new baby, they're moving on, so we're selling this today. Do I have any more bids? One bid here, thank you. I've got a bid there. We've got one more here. Yes, we have one more bid. We have a bid here. Do we have any more final bids? This bid? isn't about just selling one, one property. Going it's about getting a better time. result for our clients. So, so we can help them with their next property, the one after that, and the one after that. Um, I wanted to take a moment to express my gratitude for the incredible support you provided me with recently. I just want to say thank you for allowing me to go up north and go to our first national tournament for all of us. It was our first national tournament experience. Also, it was like real funding that helped us get up there. It's helping like people who might not have been the places that go to the law or last year running to me. Losing or winning doesn't even matter, we're just grateful that we got to go. Mm. So yeah, just on behalf of the people that are a little bit too shy to speak right now, just thank you. The game! Maraca, Maraca! Whoops, running on empty? Enjoy a six cents per litre fuel discount at your local Caltex with Pumped Every Day. Ah, feels good, eh? Get it at any participating Caltex. This is an 
opportunity to become our own. Ki mai ano e hoa mā ki tēnei whakapāho tanga o te whiringa toa whakamutunga i wānga nui i a ahuriri. Rāua ko kirikiri roa ko te wahanga tuatahi tēnā ko a taha ake nei. Rua te kau mā rima, ko ngā koute o te haukainga. Ko tahi noe ho te piro a ahuriri hoi anō, he hāwhe anō kei mua i te aroaro. Well, it's been a heck of a first half. You know, and these two teams seem closer. The scoreline actually doesn't really reflect but the grind that was going on through that first 35, as we see the first try uh, scored, that was uh, through Mathis. Uh, and, uh, of course, Napier were able to come back soon after Mathis with some good lead-up work down that right edge. But then there was this confidence. This, uh, this one uh, brings us into the action, and it was McGrath who scores down the left edge. Many Baker is with us today. And at that stage, we were locked up tight, but then three unanswered tries. We'll stay with the uh, try down the left edge, because this was a good try too, Millie. Yeah, this is the thing. You've got Augustine and Cotter coming into the back line, and McGrath, that big left foot, he's a ranging um, winger. And he, yeah. So, but this here is a pretty impressive. Here he goes, and the flick out the back. Curtis Hanna with the uh, first of these three. Now watch this, because we are treated to three flick passes. This is the first of them. And that's Putuk who sort of showed it basketball style, flicks it out the back door, and Curtis Hunter was uh, racing down the right edge. Then we saw this one from Ollie Mathis, and he just pops the pass out to the right. It's Girin, the right winger, who was able to score. But Mathis has been a huge contributor to all the on-field action today. He's had an outstanding first 35 minutes. Yeah, yeah, he's been outstanding, and so has Stern. He's been up in everything. They've turned over balls, they've tackled, and they've also ran and passed. But here's another good one here, Dale. Oh, this was a wonderful try also. And uh, look at the use of the flick on. And it was the big number eight who was able to scream across the line. This was just a minute before half time. So a time really when Ahuridi could ill afford to concede points, but that's how it happened. He sent it back on the inside first up anyway, didn't he? And then uh, was able to finish off Inga Kokohu. And uh, that's how we come up with our scoreline as we prepare to start the second half. 25 to 5. It is a big ask here for Napier Boys High School. It has been done before, so they have to maintain some faith, but they will need to get away to a decent start here in the second 35. You're watching the grand final, the big dance as it's known. It is the final of Super 8 Rugby, and it's coming at you on Fakata Māori. Thanks to all of our uh, partners who have helped make this a reality. Bailey's, of course, Keltex, and New Zealand's Carbon Farming. So, Napier have the football, but they also have a mountain to climb. And they will need cohesion, concerted effort, and a ton of character if they're able to turn this one around as Curtis Hunter gets into the mix early on again. And that's uh, Ollie Mathis. She's having a good game here this afternoon. Big Ollie bumped up here, Tommy McCarthy, double around, and it's Patuawa again. He's been very prominent. Russ. Defenders being asked questions. Look at the confidence that Hamilton are playing with at the moment as they send it back on the inside. Now the big units will just settle things down up the middle. They come. Fairly settled lineup for the coaching staff. And Coach Neil Hotham, who's been at the helm here for Hamilton for some time, wanted to erase the disappointment of a last minute loss last year in this final here on home soil. 
And it looks as though they are well and truly hitting the way to do just that this year. Mac Russ, what a game he is having as Patuawa keeps it alive down the left side. And the defenders here, the big guys who have to do the tackling for Ahuriri, just really don't know where to look. We've got a player down. The referee will be conscious of that as it comes back here to Mathis, who sees the uh, try line open up for him. Mathis squirms, wriggles, contorts, and ultimately scores underneath the crossbar. Oh, look. You know, position, position, position. I can't tell you how many there was there that held on to the ball. They just went back to their work, really. And here he is here. This must be about the sixth phase. Steps off the left-hand side, and he just puts the afterburners on. He's still got a bit of work to do here. The defence is coming. Kota couldn't do anything, and boom, under the post. Hey, Karoha, keep the cup or oh, I feel for them. I uh, hope that they would have had an opportunity to regroup at halftime and just put to side what the first half sort of uh, ended up being, but not the greatest result to kick off uh, the remaining second half. Well, that'd be your last in the Super 8 final back in 2018, where they lost to Hamilton by 1.23-22, uh, with uh, Kitty Kitty Oa kicking a penalty on full time to win that day. But at the moment, they uh, are well and truly in front here. And outstanding uh, effort. With another try here, Dolly uh, Mathis. He's just proving he is one to watch, whether it's in high school or wherever life takes him. Keep your eye out for that name. I think we'll hear a lot more from him. I mean, everyone's already been talking him up anyway. Media saying he's a talent, but uh, we're witnessing it first hand, aren't we? Oh, absolutely. But you know what? I was really impressed with Napier's defensive efforts there. You know, that's, that's a lot of barrage to control there. And in the end, it just broke down. But a lot better. Zero rucks. Stay out of the rucks. Get up in the face. Get the line speed up and really put pressure on the boys. There's some uh, pressure on at the back as well. They're staying with a little bit of stagger here. Up through the middle. And they come. This is the uh, first real opportunity. And looking down the left edge, it finds its way into touch. Just uh, 10 metres out at the moment. Luke Thomas has been working hard. Uh, trying to carry his boys. He's shown some good skill and good confidence. Yeah, that was a great attack there on the left-hand side. Good good smarts in the kick now. Now all they have to do, Napier, is defend this, defend this line out, put some real pressure on them. But it's a climb and a good uh, securing of the football as well for the home team who have been playing some outstanding rugby here this afternoon. What we did is at Napier uh, also have a couple of players who've reached uh, 50 game milestones in 2023. That's their Tasman, uh, uh, their captain, Tasman Swanayueti, and the vice captain, Joel Russell, both have played 50 games for Napier Boys High School. 150 and years of, of proud rugby as well at Napier Boys High School from 1872 to 2022 last year. They just celebrated their 150th celebration. So a big me to the hands and the, and the legs and the heads that have made this uh, achievement and, and this milestone for such a proud school. Look, we're just at, just before halfway here with a line out to Napier Boys. It'd be great to secure this and be able to get that back line in there. Here's the throw in for Ahuriri. Uh, the tap back, and now they're working down through the middle. They just need to keep their heads at the moment. The scoreboard's not kind to them, but we uh, know that they've got some real talent in their squad if they can get the ball in hand. The Hamilton boys have been very strong defenders, and now the ball has gone to ground. Play on, says the referee. In fact, will be called back at the moment. That's been Christian McEwen. He's been having a barnstorming effort for the home squad. Yeah, well, in Ahakua, you know, Ekerano, te kapa kiri kiri ro kai te ngana tonu a huiri kite faka hoki nga wero. Even though they might be down quite convincingly on the scoreboard, and um, they're still showing the the resilience and the and the, and the will to to keep attacking. Well, I make that at 32 uh, 25. We'll update that scoreboard for you shortly. Here's the kick downfield, and it's been uh, taken just a few meters in from touch. Plenty of supporters here uh, watching the home team and. 
That one's kicked for touch and almost hits Mini Baker in the head. And actually, it's uh, right on the, the roof of our little marquee where we're recording our action from this afternoon. Oh, look, you know, yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's good for Napier boys. They're going to have a good attacking opportunity here just outside the 22. They've got to, sit, they've got to secure this line out like they did just before. And I think actually they should maul it from here, but we'll just see what they do. There's the um, set up. You can imagine that confidence levels will be down for our boys from Ahuriri. They've conceded five tries so far here this afternoon. With apologies if you're getting staggered pictures uh, but uh, uh, at your end. We're still 15 metres out from the try line here. Ahuriri in possession. Out to the right-hand side. Just trying to work their way forward. Dale, this is really good from Napier boys. They're just, like I said, inch by inch. They're going back to their tried and true. They're picking and going and making sure Hamilton boys have to commit to the ruck area. Make those tackles. Make them work a little bit harder. Tenakwe and it is the right approach here. Rather than trying to be too ambitious, too flamboyant, going wide, They've just got to get into the grind, get themselves onto the scoreboard. That's what's happening here at the moment. And this is a good approach from Ahuriri. At the moment, though, Kitty Kitty Nora holding them out. Oh, they've just done a kick here from Hamilton Boys. That's great defence, but I, I like the better way that Napier Boys are deciding to go about how they're going to attack this. Hold on to the ball, grind it out, because that's actually their bread and butter. Their bread and butter are in the forwards, making them work harder, making the defence work even harder as well. As you can see, our, our pictures are, 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 are delaying a bit. It's a bit lagging in your room, but we're going to continue co com uh, commentating our, our game, our, our team behind the scenes. Are about it um it's up there it's 42 15.
half-time score of 32 points to 5, or 25 points to 5, excuse me. 42 points to 22 uh, the, the score that I have. Mina kwa rari wau, anei aku whakapaha, koe no. Mā te aha i te ngana. Just a bit of a breakdown here uh, as well, but uh, as we were touching on, you know, let's not forget the, the kaha, the ihi, the wihi that's been shown by all these young players, and uh, in particular for the Napier boys too, because you feel that uh, the, the game was well out of their reach, but they've, they've kept trying even at conversion from the sideline, so it's a 20 point scoreline now, 42 to 22, an impressive performance here this afternoon by the home team, Hamilton Boys High School. But uh, equally impressive, the attitude on display here from the visitors as we see the big prop forwards um, uh, coming out from Napier. In fact, I think it might be the uh, uh, the skipper, Tasman Swana. It's also uh, encouraging to see that rugby is in good hands. The, the talent and the pedigree of these young men have been outstanding. It's a good time to be a New Zealand sportsman, obviously, with our our Football World Cup with our ladies and our, uh, our, our Silver Ferns out in South Africa. Um, and also our, our Warriors boys getting up again and doing well. All the best with the All Blacks and the, and the Rugby World Cup coming up later this year. Also, yeah, well, I've really been impressed by Curtis Hunter as we see the kick coming towards us over here in the commentary position. So uh, they certainly haven't given up. And uh, that's what we admire here about Napier Boys High School's attitude in 2023. Gorgeous day in Hamilton. Scoreline doesn't reflect so solidly for them, but uh, their attitude on track, certainly commendable. As we uh, settle ourselves down, number 18's into the mix, to Josiah Moitala. So impressed with uh, Curtis Hunter at the back of the, the work of Wyndham Patawawa and others. For Hamilton boys has just been uh, out of the top draw. But they aren't giving up here as they have the football about 30 metres out from their own line. They'll be coming down the left edge here. Just trying to grind their way out and create an opportunity. Then they'll play through the middle of the, the track. The middle thirds. Getting themselves involved here for Napier. Prouting. Back it comes. Launched off the boot of Thomas. Pressure at the back. It's taken confidently by Curtis Hunter, who takes it for just a couple of metres. Wrapped up on the halfway line now. Hunter looking to the right-hand side. Poo Chukul has been really good for them this afternoon. Nigel Ockham will be really pleased with what he's seen here. And another flick pass, maybe one effort uh, too much this time around. The boy Teller comes back in and it's fed along by Swan. Now in the middle we find Hilaka Waitai playing up. It's lost. Now who did he have the football? The uh, referee will call them back here for the scrum to be set. It's just a couple of metres on who did his side of the halfway line. Jacob Cotter's had some nice touches today. The uh, medical staff just turning your attention to a player down here, 10 metres or so in from the broadcast touchline. This afternoon, referee coming across to make sure that uh, all is well. Scoreline still 42 22. Ana, to te haruru o te nininga e ma taki taki mai na e te kite atu i te o nga kairiwi ko e ke mai ki te fira ke fai wahi atu ki te nei fira tua fa kamutunga. As we heard, the chair of the Breivers on the sidelines, proud of their brothers that so the have come off the extended is. bench getting a taste of what it's like to play finals footy. Just like to acknowledge those that didn't make the starting lineup or the extended bench because Tera Fakatoki Tena Yara te toa i te toa taki tahi ngari he toa taki tini ke. So the, the, the bulk of kids that have been in and out of the of the first 15 throughout the throughout the year deserve acknowledgements and, and those that are having a taste of these remaining minutes of the of the grand final will cherish this for a long time. So is the scrum feed here for Luke Thomas, right on the halfway line, right on the corner of the fourth Kata Māori. And then Mahuridi got one or two twists for the tail as we come to the back end of this one. Nice little bustling run, weaving it outside, intercepted. Number 14 is Holly Garrett, he's back. 
back out the middle. Here they come with 19, the Storm Jack Miller setting it the stage. Right hands from Patuawa on the far side of the field. Full of running still. Full of running down the left edge. Hamilton Boys High School, they've got another try on them. Yes, they have 42 to 22 the score line, and they have not stopped. Here they are. Up the middle. Oh, solid D. Beautiful D this time around. Right edge, pop pass back in the middle they come. Searching. Through the hands of Poojoko. Outstanding, Poojoko. There's the pop ball once again. Finishing it off this time is Marshall. Poojoko down the right side. Absolutely superb, wunderbar. ano nga nga mihi whakapaha e kariama uh, ki te ao te, o te hangarau e, e radio wana uh, poi ano uh, kwa whakapaukaha mātou ki te whakatairanga o te tātou atu i nei pikitia ki te whakanui i ngā mahi uh, te whakanui i ngā mahi uh, ngā kapa e rua nei kwa hiki nei tenei tenei ahi ahi What's the like about what we're seeing here this afternoon though? Yeah. Hey, and the attitude on show from these young guys, really commendable. This number 10, Wyndham Patuawa, been offloading some good balls. Putuk were there with the pop pass once again, and I'm sure it was Dupre Master who came down that right edge. He was normally on the left, but this time around, just uh, ranging around, doubling around, picking up that ball from Putuk. And uh, this one about to be converted by Wyndham Patuawa. He's been, uh, been fantastic. And he slices the sticks. And number two, pushing the score line further out. And stabbing their authority yet again. Hamilton Bulls High School. Oh, this afternoon from uh, Hamilton Boys High School. Apologies for that, but certainly taking nothing away from the efforts of these players who've been really giving it their all. And in the end, such a class showing here from Hamilton Boys High. Still, their opponents have managed to rack up 22 points in a normal, normal circumstances, many Baker. That that would be a, uh, enough to win. But this uh, Hamilton squad have just had try after try, and even that foot pass there from Putoko through to, uh, I think it was Dupre Marshall. Again, just a, a show of extreme confidence. They look up at the scoreboard, then they know that there's nothing to lose, and so they're giving the ball some air, and it's been really entertaining rugby this afternoon. Oh, absolutely entertaining rugby again, but Napier boys are not really, they're still in the fight there. Like, you know, CJ Cotter again just coming in and just being one of those players that are just priming on the outsides and opening the space up. Napier boys might not be ahead on the, on the scoreline, but man, they have definitely given everything they have. Well, they're winning a few sports fans, aren't they, with their attitude, Napier boys. On to the boot this time, sent deep by Mitch Swan. Now the chase is on, Napier comes screaming after it. At the back comes Jacob Cotter. He's isolated someone, left foot's it out to touch. And personal safety too came into play. You can see the rampaging down the field as well, the home squad wanting to... Uh, you get across him and uh, jar the ball loose, but he does the right thing. Scoreline, 49 to 22. It has been a, a heck of an outing here for the uh, lads from Kitty Kitty Door. A heck of an outing. And they've still got it. Swan. Here he is, Ollie Mathis once again. He's been so good. Out to Poojoko, he's been exceptional as well. And they get the half century on the far side through Poojoko. What a play down that left edge by Hamilton Boys High School. Oh, again, look at the set piece again. 
Started off with a really good set piece, and there we go here. Ainga on the left hand side, some real strength by him. Get off the right foot, and then just him and Cotter at the end on the inside here. But for me, Mathis, the captain, Captain Fantastic, has been all over the park and really did, did the work in there to set that up. Yeah, they've been fantastic, all right, today. And the crowd here will have enjoyed it. <laughs> they can't complain if they, they wanted to see some tries. It's been a try fest here this afternoon. Yeah, I just I can't help but just feel for for Napier. The uh, the score's blowing out, and it's not a true reflection of the some of the attitudes that were on display from from the opposing team. But it's unfortunate that it is blowing out um, to quite a largest deficit. Hoya no mihiana kinga kapa edua. There's always one winner and one who comes off second hand. So yes, like that absolutely. That's footy, isn't it? Sometimes you get hammered. And uh, not you, Mitty, you've never lost by a big margin, I bet. Oh, I have, actually. But you know what? The netball, they drew as well. So sometimes you draw, you know. it's just it, This is sport, and this is why everyone loves to play it. It's very competitive. But, you know, on both sides, it's been really entertaining. Like, you know, you come to watch a footy match, and you've got to see, you want to see tries. We've got both teams scoring tries. This is the game that we wanted to watch. Well, they've been scoring tries and slot them from wide out as well. So the boys with the kicking tees have been doing their work also here this afternoon. But in the end, a reminder just how classy this Hamilton Boys High School squad is. They went away to the uh, Sanix Sevens in Japan earlier in the season. They were outstanding then, and they have been outstanding throughout the course of this Super 8 tournament. Yes, they did drop one game, but here in the final, they have been very dominant, very, very confident in their abilities. And uh, those of their teammates is another tester at the back in the... The chase is on down the right edge. Ollie Guerin chasing hard. Cotter, no surprises there. And that's what Hamilton's done all day. They've spun it wide, put some pressure on there, and even if they've kicked it downfield, now they're in a pressure, a defensive zone, you know, and Napier's, all they've had to do is kick it back to them, kick it out, and they've had to reset again. So let's see what Hamilton boys have got at the, the set piece. I'd like to see something in the middle, and I think this is going to go wide. There's just under a minute remaining. And as Mere said, they see to try to set move in the middle, but they've stacked the short side with one of the Pomua having a little sneak up the right hand flank. And now they come up through the middle once again. They have caused huge problems here for Ahuriri through the guts of the track. And now they've got runners again. It is Mathis. And again, down that left edge is that Dupre who maybe loses the, the ball forward. It makes little difference anyway, as we can see the scoreline here is a whopping 56 to 22. As we hear it called to a halt. And look at what it means here for the local lads from Kitty Kitty. Well, they've absolutely swamped the team. They're so proud of what they've been able to achieve here this afternoon through the course of Super 8 through the course of 2023 outstanding showing here and the picture tells a thousand words let's revel in the situation they find themselves in first 15 champions of super 8 2023 here on fakata maori hamilton boys high school the locals you found the place that's a good start by my great -grandfather. no time to fluff around today no worries just swing into Caltex and pay for fuel with pay an app to speed on through oh yeah feels good use it at your local participating Caltex Um, I wanted to take a moment to express my gratitude for the incredible support you provided me with recently. 
I just want to say thank you for allowing me to go up north and go to a first nationals tournament for a lot of us. It was our first national tournament to go to. So. Also, I would like real funding that helped us get up there. It's helping like people who might not have been the places they wanted to do or last year when we were in Losing or winning doesn't even matter. We're just grateful that we got to go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just on behalf of the people that are a little bit too shy to speak right now, just thank you. The game! Maraca, Maraca! Don't put the game! Good and welcome back. Well, a 56-22 result here for Hamilton Boys High School. The lads from Kitty Kitty Law, just too tough, just too uh, skillful today. But uh, hats off once again too, because we know that there were plenty of uh, willing workers there who'd come across from Napier for Ahuriri. But uh, in the end, they were just so well drilled, and the confidence levels here for Hamilton Boys High School through the roof today. Some fine tries scored and some uh, unearthing. Many great young talents, I suspect, Moiho. Even though the, the scoreboard didn't really reflect on uh, the passion and the effort that, that uh, Napier has shown, um, I'd just like to acknowledge uh, both both squads, and we're down sideline uh, shortly with our captain of the Napier boys team. Well, Medibake is uh, talking with the skipper from Napier. Kia ora here. We've got the captain here from the Napier boys. Not the not the result you wanted, but man, did you guys score some points and the mana to keep on going and try to fight that scoreboard back. Yeah, because um, at half time, you know, it wasn't really how, the way we wanted to start. So our coaches gave us a good talk that we're not just going to lay down and let them you know, run over us. So we just, you know, got together as a group, tried to fight back. But at the end of the day, you know, mm -hmm. Hamilton was a better team today. So congrats to them. Yeah, you, so you guys basically grinded it out, grinded it out, and then you let the backs do the work at the back end, which was fantastic rugby to watch. Very entertaining. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, some of our plan was just let the forwards do the work phases, phases, and then just kick it out to our fast, sharp backs, so yeah. All right, not the result you want about. Congratulations and good luck for the future of rugby. Yes, yeah, sweetest. Thank you very much. Now we have the winning captain. Well, some outstanding rugby from side to side. I thought you and the set, the six turn were fantastic all over the park. Just tell me um, how you build up. You did lose against Napier in the first round. How did you build up to here? Um, I think that was a massive motivation for us to come here and get the dub. Um, yeah, our, our goal all week was just to play fast footy and just win the collision. So I think the boys did that well. Entertaining rugby, that's what that's what we were saying all day and that's what it was. A lot of good skill work, especially to offload everything that you had. Yeah, it's definitely something we pride ourselves on at Boys High. It's being fit and yeah, playing rugby with flair. Well, good luck for the rest of the season. I guess the season's over, but well done for the con congratulations on the championship. Thank you, thank you. Well, there it is, and two teams came to do battle. One came off better than the other, obviously, and very deserving of the title of Super 8 champions for 2023. The lads from Napier, they can hold their heads high too. They scored 22 points against Hamilton Boys High School, but it wasn't enough. And it's been a, a really intriguing battle. But what it does suggest is that we've got a great talent coming forward. Hope you enjoyed the action too from Kitty Kitty Law, from Hamilton Boys High School, from me from Moiho and also from Mede Baker. Certainly wishing you well as Fakata Māori continues to provide great sporting spectacles, particularly out of our uh, rangatahi sporting scene. Big ups to all to help bring our broadcast together through 2023. From me and the rest of the crew here for Fakata Māori from Hamilton Boys High School, we wish you farewell and a pleasant afternoon. Nei rata mihi kā koutou katoa, mauni ora kā tātou.